Hey, everybody. On today's show, we're going to get into Drag Race and Drag Race UK. And Gen Zs are starting a new trend. And let's see if you're going to be part of it. Also, we're finally going to cover WandaVision after teasing it for so many weeks. Um, and some other fears that's going on with the pandemic. It's going to be a very jam-packed show. We have Jenny Connard hosting the show with us this week. So grab a drink and enjoy. Everybody, welcome to another episode of We Will Fight It Earth. Sunny goes out to me. Let me try that again. Hey, oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, just for the audience, right before we went live, Jenny looked very scared. Jenny Connor, who's hosting the show with, and said, Something's <laughs> happening in my alley. <laughs> like, literally, right before we went live. <laughs> it's, it's OB, and I'm like, It's OB, <laughs> exactly. Well, welcome to Who Invited Her, San Diego's LGBTQ <laughs> pop culture podcast. I am your host, Tony, and I'm here with the 5'2 bundle of dynamite. Bash, she's back this week. Say hi, I'm Bash. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the bear had every party. It's party bear Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi. And hi, everyone. She's back, back, back in the house. Jenny Connard is filling in for Miss Mary MT this week. Hi, Jenny. It's she, her, me, Miss Jenny GC. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your shirt. She is sporting a Mary MT t shirt today in honor of Miss Mary MT, who couldn't be here this week. You Look at how stretched out Miss Miriam T's face is <laughs> because of your Her big old knock. Like... I know. <laughs> She's looking all different ways. She's like a uh, fucking uh, Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit. <laughs> 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 Oh man! But oh, we're and back. by the oh, oh and Rob's here. here. Hey, I'm Rob, here to, I'm here too. If anyone's interested, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, but we are back, Jenny. What's happening in your alley? That is sounds yeah. so dirty. <laughs> well, let me tell you. you know, I think it's died down, and I had to remind myself. I lo I'm locked in. I have locked okay. the door. Okay, because you're actually like, recording at the theater today, right? In OB. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you guys got a show coming up at the end of the month, a virtual show. Let we everybody know what it is. It's, we're doing, uh, we'll be doing the last five years. We have um, finished record or finished recording and filming um, safely using all the guidelines um, and with a married couple who are allowed to be on stage together because they live together. Yeah. Um, uh, Chris and Carrie Miller. San Diego They're favorites fabulous. here. Yes, <laughs> they and are if, amazing. And if anybody checked out Obi's production of Heather's before lockdown that my brother directed, she played Miss Fla the Miss Fleming, the teacher. Yes. Who, like with the insane yeah. voice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Brought the house down. Yeah, for sure. literally. <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be a good show. Both of them are amazing on stage. So that's it's I wasn't super familiar with the show. I had seen it once. And yeah. of course, if you're a theater person, that's you like something it. everybody loves. Yeah. Mm. The music is gorgeous and the story is good. And, um, and the two of them uh, just watching, I cried. You're yeah. all directing constantly. It's a good show. It's, Jason it's good Robert show Brown wrote it, wrote the music. Um, phenomenal Broadway composer. So yeah. it's a good show. And when can people see it and how do they see it, Jenny? It is in editing right now, uh, literally right now, Bill literally. is editing. <laughs> yeah. um, it should be ready by, it will be ready by the end of this month. Um, we'll be promoting it on Facebook and we'll be, well, I'll get it to you guys. Um, but a way to, to check us out is obplayhouse.com or Obi yeah. Playhouse on Facebook. And we have the link to your guys' website on our website. If you guys want to go check out who invited her.net, you can get um, all of OB Playhouse's info off of there too. Thank you. But big news that's been happening in the last couple of weeks because we haven't done a normal show because last week we had the f amazing Heather and Stewart from the Lockdown Lounge. Oh, they were so much fun. And then the week so before that, fun. we had Ashley Gavin. So it's been a while since we've been able to sit around <laughs> and chit chat. But big news, Britney Spears' documentary has been everywhere. Did you guys watch it? Is yes. it on Hulu? Yes, but it's under okay. a weird name. 
It's called it? framing Britney Spears. Yeah, framing yeah. Britney Spears. And I think yeah. it's because there's a framing blah, blah, blah. Yeah, from the New York series. Times. It's mm-hmm. done by the New York Times. So this is one of their um, episodes, I guess you can say, within the series. But man, it was an eye opener. And you, they did her dirty. I'm sorry, but poor, poor Brit. Poor Brit. I, I have to tell you, I my, my girls uh, <clears throat> are of the age to have been very, very big Britney uh, fans when they yeah. were young and um and of course she's she's a mega pop star i've i've stayed you know you you hear about britney of course mm-hmm. there was a time when i was like eh, i'm done um and then my sister was like you know there's this documentary i think we should watch we just watched it just not even knowing it was this thing that people were yeah, really about. really talking about and then uh i just god it just made me feel so much for her and uh, for what she's gone through, you know, you just know, all her life. It's like ever since a all kid, her life. it started. Yeah. It, yeah. And then it's just, it, it really <clears throat> just moved the whole free Britney movement that's been happening and her trying to get out of the court orders and all that. What did you think of it, Eric? Cause I know you're a Britney fan and you watched I, it. <laughs> I actually did not watch it. You and didn't? For, <gasps> I didn't. I'm so surprised. <laughs> I know. And I'm for a couple of reasons. One, I just, I, I I just don't want to feel bad about her because I want to keep her like as right. this happy person in my brain. And so I don't, that's kind of weird. I know that's no, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. I just, I don't want to feel bad about her because I like that I, in my mind, I can feel happy about her uh-huh. and I don't want to ruin that fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also <laughs> like, there's just so much other stuff going on in the world. I'm like, I think yeah. I'm just going to push that for later in the future or, wait to see what happens see what happens Did hopefully you... there's a happy conclusion coming to it i you know? i think there will be it just made me go man she is she really just needs to be doing her own thing right now like everybody yeah. needs to leave her the fuck alone is how i feel like yeah let her just be jesus christ i think eric i i totally get what you mean when you're a fan and you really love something and it's and it brings that, you know, those feelings from whatever kind of nostalgia, yeah. that, you know, of being young and, and whatever. I'll tell you that you you will definitely feel a lot of feelings for her. Uh-huh. But I think you also kind of, at least for me, it was opening my eyes to just what a strong, what a strong woman she actually really yeah. is. Um, and and there's, a, there's a whole bit in there about, um, about how... We we were when all of that was going down with her, you know, with her conservative sh- conservatorship and yeah. so forth, you know, and she was being called crazy and this happened, it, and then nobody was really talking about actual mental health exactly. issues, um, and the fact that if it was a a man or a male going through what she was going through, it would have just been so very different. Yeah. Um, and people that worked with her were like, no, she is strong and she is, she does know, you know, she's powerful and yeah. she's, and they do show that a lot. Yeah. And um, yeah. so, you know, I like that they, like. they did show that it, it also made, because everybody knows the whole story with Britney shaving her head and the umbrella, but this really was like, I get it why you did it now. I, yes. I, I totally get it. And Anybody in your position, she would would have probably lashed out the same way, or if another way, she I just did. wanted to like break her whole the whole. Yeah, over exactly, her. Bashy. <clears throat> and there was did... so much going on that was just not even a, a, a just yeah. just in her personal. I mean, just so many things, and uh, like I, I I certainly was on the bandwagon of calling her just to just just throw away cuckoo magoo, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at I that! I think a lot but, of people yeah. did. What yeah. did you think of it, Bashy? Did you watch it? I didn't watch it, but I've been noticing this trend with a lot of documentaries that are coming up lately that are kind of exposing, you know, we only see the surface of stuff and celebrities are celebrities and yeah, they have a lot of money and they have a lot of fame and we shouldn't feel bad for them. Yeah. Quote unquote. But like, I'm glad that things are starting to expose this. And I think it, I'm hoping that our society starts changing a little bit. Yeah. especially when it comes to the way that we treat people with mental illness. And Brittany, at least, is in a position where she has money mm-hmm. and some support, even though it's not the greatest. But, like, you look around downtown, and East Village is now Skid Row. I yeah. mean, yeah. like, we, we now have a stable population of 2,000 homeless people living yep. downtown. 
at any given point and, do you and see, nobody gives a fuck yeah exactly do you see any of the the leaders here in our community doing anything about it no not really and no. they're not and they're you know you know jenny just had an issue in her alley and we kind of laugh it off but yeah which, right. which you can, you have to do at some times because right. as a resident of san diego you're just like oh there we go again but yeah, yeah. nobody's helping the situation it's no. so frustrating and i don't like seeing people suffering yeah. in, in any in any state of mind whether they're rich or poor and I don't know. I just hope this country gets its shit together I, and we start reallocating resources to help people who need it. Exactly. Right. I, yeah. I kind yeah. of I kind of feel positive that like if the same situation <clears throat> of Britney were to happen today, I actually think as a society we would be Prepared much kinder. We'd be much kinder that. to her than we were back then and yeah. we wouldn't tease about it, make as many jokes. Um mm -hmm. because there are celebrities who've had, you know, kind of similar situations. I think of like Demi Lovato and Yeah. You know, Right. It's not been a big thing for her to go get help, and we've all accepted well, it. Well, it's so. all part of it's. It seems like to me in the last couple years, it's all with the really holding people accountable for no matter what. What brings up another topic of the whole Justin Timberlake thing that happened with the documentary, where the people, Britney fans, were demanding an apology <laughs> from him, right? Which he's just not a good person it seems like because didn't he just cheat on his wife not too long ago he did? i thought did he? so what? yeah it was like rumored <laughs> or something but anyways it just makes me it made me think <laughs> of ah, Jenny. um so he ended up doing this big apology to britney and janet because of the whole janet debacle because in the in, in the documentary they sh they have that radio clip of him talking about Britney and pretty much slut shaming her. Yeah. Um, and then now, however many years later, 20, 20 years later, now he's being asked to apologize. What was the Janet thing? The Super Bowl thing? Yeah. The Super Bowl of how yeah. he handled it. He didn't take any responsibility. Exactly. He let her take was, all the. Yeah. 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 He let her I take recently the fall. posted about that and I thought that that was on purpose. So. Uh, the whole <laughs> i thought it was planned the super too. bowl boop thing yeah i, I, I thought, thought it was, was totally planned. It, was. it was right it was you a can't just have a tearaway nipple thing that just happens yeah. like they of course it was it was just the, you, the backlash of it do you remember was. when little kim went on to the mtv awards with her boob hanging out with a oh pasty, i love that and, and then diana uh, ross reached over and like <laughs> <laughs> she's all boop boop <laughs> now does she now does diana ross need to make an apology for touching her boob without permission. I mean, I mean, if you're gonna yell at somebody for doing that and then say, "Oh no, it's okay," because it's Diana Ross and she's a woman, she could go ahead and crest whoever's boob she wants without permission. Yeah. So I mean, caress. it was a tap tap. It was a tap. E either way, she was kicking the either tire. Way. <laughs> she was. <laughs> I was just like, is this shit real? Is this real? <laughs> but the face um, Diana Ross made was like, girl, are you serious? Your big old titties hanging out. That's it. Like. That's like Tuesday in 2021. <laughs> right. But it does bring up that point. I mean, I think even the people who are demanding an apology from Justin, the Britney fans. I mean, I'm sure in their pat in their <sighs> life, something from 20 years ago or when they were a young little something, they probably said and did stuff they are not proud of. So would they want people to bringing that up and demanding them to give an apology to whoever it was? You know what I mean? I think everybody needs to mind their own fucking business. I do too. In a way. Honestly, there's just there uh, in watching in watching that documentary yeah. um, and realizing, you know how much we we all jumped on the bandwagon of you know that she was just cra crazy, crazy and losing her shit yeah. and blah 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 what what i started oh and watching the show the the morning show on apple yeah um <clears throat> which is loosely based on the whole matt lauer and today show stuff mm -hmm. i started thinking they're really we don't we don't have any room to really talk. We don't know. No, we don't exactly. know shit. We you don't went, know. You went if from judging one celebrity to, to jumping another. on another one. But like, this is you the don't thing. fucking know what's going we on. With have Justin no, like, we have no. We have no idea if Justin and Brittany people, had yeah had a private conversation when this happened and dealt right. with it just between them two exactly. and never went public. <clears throat> and they they dealt with it years ago and now. People are right. bringing it up and bringing, saying, "Hey, you need to revisit this." Without even us knowing the whole, like, if they ever did, we don't know. 
And you know there's I mean? spin yeah. doctors on both sides oh, yeah. all mm -hmm. the time. Totally. And especially mm -hmm. when you're young, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, sh I'm sure it's when you're an older celebrity too, but especially when you're young, they can get you and they'll yeah. tell you, Ooh, this is going to be bad. We gotta, we gotta work our blah, blah, blah. And you go, okay, well, no, right now I'm mad at Justin or yeah. vice versa or who knows? We, we don't know. Exactly. That's oh my God for forbid <clears throat> people bring up stuff I did 20 years ago. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And, and for every one person you see out there, there yeah. are literally a team of 200 people controlling exactly. the messaging Thank behind you, them. Thank you, Bash. Yeah. So well, I'll like, make money off of it too. Uh -huh. Totally. Totally. <laughs> so if but you're going to, if marketing. you're going to call out Justin for his, his behavior call out everybody that was involved with all of that you know what i mean right yeah demand yep. change from the industry not the people exactly <gasps> and hopefully hashtag that i know <laughs> Look at i don't want to start that today. i don't want <laughs> to start that fight today you just did you not just today. did well send your emails to <laughs> bash <at> the... <laughs> you invited her what the fuck is her email address send bash her say like... my name bash on social media you can find him everywhere. Send all of your emails to him. You can find him everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Bash just comes up with the ideas. He doesn't execute on Yeah, I don't. Yeah, look <laughs> at the last three. Tips. Look at the last. Wait, no, not even ideas. Maybe <laughs> suggestions. Let's, oh, let's uh -huh. see. Ideas is being very generous. Let's say random suggestions of either a drunken night idea or high. him getting too high and he thinks yeah. it's hilarious where we look at it and go, Cute. Um, well, everybody's <laughs> caught me in quite a sober state today. So, I know. I mean, this, surprise, surprise. This Have is a drink. mule. Have another drink. Get but, a little loose. A loose light, lady. A <laughs> There's like a three-hour window in a day where we yeah. get you sober. Uh -huh, and I guess you're in it. We got it Welcome. right now. <laughs> Wow. You're in it. Wow. This is going to be an exciting <laughs> show with these two. <laughs> and Jenny and I are like, yeah, we're ready to go. Let's do this. <laughs> um, but, oh, and this also brings up something with the whole cancel culture, how everything's going on with Justin. Drag Race. Drag Race. Um, this season, Drag Race, we're going to get into it. But Candy Muse, ooh, is being dragged through social media and bullied, bullied, bullied. Yeah. Is she still? Nobody, yeah, I thought that still. the last episodes would have kind of. Oh, fixed it doesn't that a matter. It doesn't matter. People are still on uh like just a uh, hating Candy Muse bandwagon thing. So, but we're gonna get into. Yes, we haven't talked drag race in a while. Do you guys like how RuPaul doesn't say may the best woman win anymore? She says may the best I noticed drag queen win. They oh, changed really? that like three yeah. years ago to make Did it they? more inclusive. Yeah. I, and then <laughs> I didn't notice. I didn't either. Yeah. yeah. So we haven't talked drag race in a drag race. Drag race <laughs> in a couple weeks. And there's been a lot going on, a lot with drag race. So we'll start with Drag Race here in the U.S. What did you guys think of the last couple episodes? The whole Candy Muse, Tamisha thing. We didn't cover that. Um, the elimination from last week. This week's episode. Let's get into it. So, oh, are you worried right. about spoilers? We don't. No worry spoilers. About spoilers. If you're worried about spoilers, you should already know we're going to be talking about it. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the show and be up to date. Yeah. Look. So what did you think of last? Let's start with last week's. There was with Untucked between Candy Muse and Tamisha Iman, who they had a huge blowing out, but we never saw them resolve it until the last week's episode when they had the lip sync against each other and Candy broke down and cried and they were all besties. And suddenly like, they're hugging. Yeah. Why didn't yeah. we get to see any of the makeup sex? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I really want to see. I, <laughs> I don't remember. Wait, did but. they, did they not quash things in that episode of Untucked? No, it was, did, no, did, no, right. Eric? I thought they had. No, no, not in that episode. No. Tamisha no. and Candy definitely and then, had a conversation where they were like civil though. And it was kind of. It was Stop. like right before they went out to lip sync against each other. Maybe, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. That's yeah. Fine. No, I want it more. <laughs> and plus, when Candy Muse talks, I just hear. Bah, 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 bah. It's just like. No, I, I, I hear. I love it. I love it. I can't. <laughs> She's got. Wow, wow Jenny. Mouth, she does. Guys. Do you guys remember when reality shows used to have subtitles on people, even if like <laughs> they were completely <laughs> they understandable? They and I was for yeah. Candy Muse. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, right? I feel bad, but I am gonna say my whenever my sister and I are watching it, there are we do have to turn on subtitles because certain queens are like, what the fuck did they just say? say? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, enunciate. Enunciate. Yeah, but I'm still not enjoying Candy Muse. This Not gets either. on my nerves. She seems a little nicer this episode and a little more humbled. Uh, really? Uh, especially, yeah, really? Especially... She's sitting there giving everybody critiques like she's a judge. I can't stand it. I just can't, can't stand, stand it. it. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I just like, who made you like queen of the room? No, shut up. Nobody cares. I, oh, I also kind of don't understand. Listen, I, I don't want to bully her. I, I'm going to go back to the whole, I don't know her. Yeah. I don't know what goes on. And I again, they're going to, the producers are doing it. Yeah. It's a show about show. judgment, though. So yeah. here's, here's you, what I have to say about that. Here's what I have to say about Here that. Comes Brash. Here comes Brash. Here comes Brash. Bringing now it back every, to reality. Now every drag queen in the universe is like, you can't criticize us for shit. You're not out here doing it. And I'm like, then don't go on RuPaul's Drag Race. That's, I it's agree. I do agree. Show. You're putting it's yourself a, out there. It's I don't think people show. need to be mean, but I will just say I don't. After the backpack skirt, yeah, I don't know why she's still there. Yeah, I, I don't either. Like yeah, I don't either. Did you not, notice well, Olivia Lux's wig was the same wig she wore? It was that, like, did she borrow the same wig from Candy Wait. Muse from the backpack episode? Oh uh, yeah, the same wig. Same, oh, yeah. now that you mention the it, same wig. Exactly. Okay, the same. You and can't nobody called it out. That. Yeah, I was and like, she won. Yeah, and, and she Olivia. Won. One, yeah, Olivia. You Lexington. cannot. You cannot. Do that. <laughs> also, I I want to delineate that we are not. Uh, we are just judging. We're also like not, you know, yeah. bashing, coming after them. Like no. So for example, uh, Candy's mom had like death threats yeah, ever since her, that's her, her not, social oh media account. Yeah, not cool. That's very that's different from what we're doing. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, criticizing yeah. the show and them yeah. on the show, not them as people, but what they're putting out, their product right, right. on the show. That's what we that's what we're judging and criticizing because they that's what the show is. That's why you do it because you want people to view and talk about it, right? Yeah. But for yeah. people to go on Candy Muse's um Twitter and her family and death threats and all that what is just the fuck? You people need to yeah. stop with that. People like it's are it's a TV show. And they're fucked up. And yeah. I, Everybody it, needs to take a Valium in this country. <laughs> <laughs> like, not any? You got every it, fucking person needs Ooh, to calm I the know. fuck calm down. Can it, can it come with our stimulus check? That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that oh, I just got mine. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your vaccine <laughs> and the Valium. The Valium. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Here's your care package. <laughs> um, but no, I think. I just think like people kind of take it a little too far when they start a coming little? for these queens <laughs> a lot too far. They t they start coming for these queens <laughs> like personally when they you it's a TV show they're playing a character. I'm sure if we met Candy Muse in person we probably love her but She's we're basing lovely. it right. off yeah. of what we're seeing on the show. Her character, right. character on the show, not right, her yeah. as a person. So but Saying that, I'm just not enjoying their character on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not a character I want. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm done. Um, and the only, the only two that I'll, that I'll, uh, I'll exempt from that line of thinking though are Fifi. Oh, Fifi's awful. And yes. uh, Vix, the Vixen. The Vixen. Uh, I yeah. Did you, did you Who like was her? the one with the lip eyes that was like in, like in season three? The lip eyes. She had like tongue eyes, like she had. Oh, Mimi on first. Mimi, oh my god, Mimi on first. Her. Yeah, she seems terrible in person. Too. <laughs> <laughs> she seems terrible in person. Seems, I didn't say seems. is. I like yes. it. Yeah. I like there it. There are some queens that when we were at drag drag con that I actually met and meeting them in person. I'm not gonna say who made me change my opinion of them. Where I prefer the the for the worst, because I was like, "Oh, you Ooh. came off nice on the show, but in person, uh, uh, you're no, dead. thank you, ma'am. I now your true <laughs> colors are showing, and I am not a fan anymore." Yeah, that's mm. really disappointing when that happens. But mm. I mean, what can you expect? But this episode of Drag Race, um, they had the Bossy Rossi at Night Challenge, where they had <laughs> <laughs> okay, this whole setup. I yeah. fucking loved it. I love that every time they came in, the dog started barking. I yeah. was like, this is a house in North Park. <laughs> right? <That's laughs> and the light came on in the driveway. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The driveway light. So 
such a good sign. But also, too, There's Ross, two like, pl- over there yeah. that like, <laughs> and Ross plays it up so well. So good. Like, he's so, so good. good. So good. But I, hope they, I hope they do that every season. I do, too. Really it was so funny. Yeah. Who was some of your favorites in this challenge for this week with the Bossy Rossi at night that um, really stood out for you? Simone, for me. Simone, I, Simone for sure. Where she Simone kept bringing sure. out the candles yeah. that, like... How did you? Oh, yeah. That I, seems like that was scripted. It was so yeah. good. I yeah. couldn't believe she didn't win. And I, I know. I know, I know that Olivia with her miming was really, really good. It was really good. It was good, but, but I didn't. But think Simone with her with her whole character, and then and then her the um, runway. Her runway was wow. amazing. Yeah. I, I I've completely one eighty on her because I didn't really like yeah. her at first. I yeah. think she's gonna win. I do too. Yeah. Something tells me too. she's going to, if not win, at least place in the top three. Yeah. But she, yeah. like every week, turns it out, turns it out. I felt bad away. because Utica was like wanting the. If you're going to say something, producer Rob, please <laughs> turn on your mic so we can actually hear you. How, how many shows are we in? A hundred and something, and he still can't figure out how to turn on his own goddamn mic. Oh well, God. I was only saying it to you, but I'm sure everybody else is thinking. Yeah, they could hear it. You're yeah. shouting it, so it's picking up in my mind. Utica. 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 Did Give we say fuck. Utica again? Utica. Yes. Utica. Utica. Uh, Itica, her like runway it. was so good. I her thought. runways are also always amazing. Yeah, yeah, I like her. I do enjoy her. But she, what I was gonna I say love- was, she wanted um, Olivia Lux's um, role, and she didn't. She didn't fight for it. So Olivia Lux yeah. got it, and then won the challenge. And you and can then see, Itica nice. was just. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm pissing off pretty straw, but I don't care. Um she you could tell she was upset about it. Like fully yeah, upset. Yeah, she was. Well, uh-huh. and the, and she was so and it was not good. It was not good uh-huh. what she did no. and no. she overdid. And I think she thought to herself cuz she was saying, yeah. I know how to I know how to I improv, mean, I know how to blah blah blah. So she's like, "All right, I'll take this role cuz I'll be able to still mm-hmm. do something with it." And then it was like Ugh. Ugh. What did you think of Rose and Dal- Dahlia, Dahlia, Delia, Dulia? Denali. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> That's what I said, you guys. God. That's, I, that's what I meant. Um, I thought they did good. I, did I thought they both did good. Lala I. Oh. She started oh. strong when she said, came in and said, Ooh, this Uh-oh. feels like the back my backyard. And then it just went downhill. It yeah. was rough. And you know what? She was so Enter to me, she was so entertaining in her um, confessionals yeah. and and, oh, and yeah. in the workroom and yeah. stuff. Like, girl, that was the like I I didn't want her to go because yeah. I liked seeing her do that. But I was like, it's time for you to go. Yeah. I think we're gonna see her back in the Drag Race family, though. I hope I, so. Yeah, All Stars. I think she'll be yeah. back for All Stars. And I think she's gonna get a lot more polished, and she's gonna come back rocking it because yeah, yeah. yeah she. I think Can so I, too. Go ahead, vent for a second. Yeah. So the Lala re experience is a phrase I'm so happy I don't have to hear anymore <laughs> because it Why? was all. It was always said when like a performance, when there was a bad performance. And so I just associate it with like, you go and buy this big firework and it, you know, it's the last one of the night and then you light it and it goes boop, boop, and nothing happens. And that's what I think the La La Re experience is. <laughs> nothing nothing happens. happens. That, was good. that was good job, Eric. <laughs> that explained it perfectly well. <laughs> nothing. You just wait for the bang and no bang. It just. No. Uh, <laughs> poor thing but that lip sync between lala and elliot with two t's i mean it was a close call i thought they both did it great. was good all was of the lip syncs have been quite fucking good except for um which one? Oh god i already forgot her name with the golden oh dragon. um oh, oh. Kamisha oh. Kanusha Hall. Kamora Hall. Kamora. That's what I yeah. said. She just gave that's up. what I said. <laughs> that's what you said. That's what I heard. Right, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> but they've all been like turning out though. Like, You're right now. She, this have. is a strong ass cast, I have to say. Yeah. I this telling, is one of the best ones so in a while. I agree. Yeah. I was telling someone the other day that um, you know, the whole the way that they started the whole show was not to my liking necessarily oh, with except the for separating them the losers uh, and the winners and the yeah. thing yeah but i did think that having them lip sync against each other like right away yeah mm-hmm. i don't even know how she chose because 
they all fucking brought it. Mm -hmm. I thought for the, and that I get it because they're not, they're not tired. They're they haven't been in the workroom going, who who doesn't like me? I mean, all those things. And they just had adrenaline, like, I'm going to go out there and sing this song and I perform. So I'm going to do it. I liked that part of it. And I think that's kind of, at least in most of the, um, the lip syncs, it's kind of carried through, yes. right? Yeah. They're still all kind of really bringing it yeah. in that way. Yeah. So I the, almost thought last night was going to be a double I did uh, too. Heap. I did too. I really yeah. thought they were going to do that because they thought they both Didn't they did do that phenomenal. already though? No, I don't oh. think so. Um, no. the, other, the other one I was going to talk about that I am not impressed with every episode because they started off like one of my favorites, one of the ones I was really looking forward to this season and every episode, I just, I I'm just, just am, like, I'm not waiting. I don't want to like, see who are you gonna say? Tina Burner. I'm sorry. Me too. Tina Me Burner. Too. Such a disappointment. After, <clears throat> after knowing and seeing all of Tina Burner's stuff pre- ahead of time and no kind of knowing her drag and like what she can bring. And right. I, it was always really funny, really, but on the show, it's such a letdown. I'm sorry. She's been letting me down. I'm so tired of red and yellow. Oh, I know. Yeah, I yeah, can't with it. I'm really, 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 I'm really, over the, really, yeah. really, 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 really fucking tired of it. Yeah. The You're other really one that I'm handsome. enjoying a lot is Got Mick. Oh God. Yeah. I love Got Mick. I love, love God. her. Yeah. I one really of my stunning. favorites this season. Yeah, yeah, her runway this week with the latex balls on the head and the mod dress. I didn't love that, though. I did. I thought it was cute. No, it reminded me of... Um, it was Latrice. reminiscent. I yeah, Latrice but better. Did that. But, but better. better. Yeah. No. Oh, Latrice yes. with the big purple one. I love that. It was just a different color. I but know, I, I like, like But it. see, I like the dress, the mod style dress that she did in the little bubbles on her nails. All of those little details I liked. Bubbles yeah. on her heels. Yeah. Did you yeah. did you guys think Denali's was as good as Denali's thought it was? Why do <laughs> I feel like I've seen that particular style? The chandelier thing? Yeah, before. I feel like I've seen it somewhere on somebody way more yeah, popular. Yeah, Sia, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I know what it was. Katy Perry did it for one of the yes! galas. Right, Bashi? Yes, Am I she right? did it for the Met Gala. Eric Met Sorry. Gala. That's what, yep. that's what it reminded me of. What did you maybe have? she was doing an homage. An Omad, no, she wasn't. She was convinced she was going to win that episode with that chandelier dress. Yeah. No, I yeah. was just going to say, I was wondering if you were thinking of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, when um, it wasn't Felicia. It was uh, It was um, um, Mitzi. Mitzi had the baby and came down the hallway yeah, as a chandelier. chandelier. That's, that's, that's maybe the other one. <laughs> that's yeah. a long back <laughs> reference. Wow, Rob. Rob's favorite movie. <laughs> what if it's the only movie he watches? I know, but we on Film Spring, if anyone... Tunes in yeah. on oh, our other great. podcast, Film Springer. We yeah. just did that one last week, so it was fresh in my head. There you go. <laughs> uh, what were you going to say, Jenny? I was just going to say that Denali's and um, and Candy's were so similar. Yeah. And I thought Denali's yes. was better, like way better. Yeah. yeah. In, in yeah. its execution. Yeah. I loved Candy's <clears throat> stole. It was mm-hmm. gorgeous, but everything else was like, yeah. Hot glue gun and yeah. I don't, you know what I mean. It I, reminded I, me of um um Andrews. What's her name? Roxy. Roxy, Roxy. Andrews Roxy. did yeah. a fringe one in All Stars that looked amazing, and it kind of reminded me of a cheaper version. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I could yeah. see that. I could totally yeah. see so that. So switching gears a little bit, let's talk about something we haven't, which is Drag Race. UK. And I haven't UK. started it. But no, I'm going I know to Jenny and Eric, you guys are caught up. And there's been drama, 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 drama with Drag drama. Race UK. It's yeah. so good. It is. It's, it's so, so good. good. You got to watch it, Bash. Dare is it I like, might? Are uh, they nicer? Is it like Bake Off? Or is it um, like. No. No, they're still awful to each other, but they all have accents. So look, it's so charming. It's so is charming there, to see them is rip there each a other. a Northerner apart. and a Scott? Are yes, Lawrence, Lawrence Janey, my favorite one in the <laughs> so whole thing. Funny. So funny. Okay. And is there somebody from Essex? <laughs> um, is there? I, I don't, don't know. think there is this time. I if don't you think have so. those three accents in the show, I'm going to fucking love it. So oh, I'm excited to Lawrence it Chaney is full on Scottish, and it's so, he's so entertaining. I love Scottish people. I think going to love it. Nice. So, okay. Who, Eric, so far on the cast of UK, even ones that have been eliminated, who have been some of your favorites? Because we haven't touched on UK Drag Race at all. 
Yeah, uh, Lawrence Cheney, I mean, like we just said, is just so, so funny, hilarious. I, I'm trying to think. I don't know their names as well as I know the U.S. version because um, I watched it. So Tia Coffee. We uh -huh. saw her in London when we were oh. there. We saw her. Did I? No. Me and Robbie were at one of the little places, that little bar in, with the three singers. And they did the cat uh, yeah, metal. Yeah, oh, we, yeah, Bash was there. Yeah, Bash, yeah. you were with us. She was the tall one in the group. It was her. Your yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even I, notice yeah. that. Oh, you're right. We yeah, did we see her live. <laughs> I, I like funny. Tia Coffee. She um, but she also like drives me insane because she doesn't <laughs> know how beautiful she is yeah. and how to style for her body. <sighs> right. If she could style for her body, she would probably kill that whole series. I agree with you so so much with that, Eric, because she has personality for days, and I think she's mm -hmm. genuinely sweet in all of and that. She's beautiful yeah she just doesn't yeah. know how to costume for her body <laughs> no well, and she's got these like cute ideas and yeah. then it's like mm, no honey, know. that's not good that doesn't <laughs> and, and no, no, RuPaul no. was pissed off yeah like, oh on the last do, episode like, do better. H &M thing? yeah with that. Joe Black came back for because he was the Black. first one um off the show and everybody was like really looking forward to joe black because he's been doing it for such a long time a very successful cabaret performer all of that huge fan base first one they eliminated that off and then he brought came back and on the last episode he got voted off again and it was yeah. because of the whole h m <laughs> dress thing yeah. and he made he made a joke saying like haha i wore an h m dress oh, and rupaul oh. like stopped the show and was like <laughs> i don't want to see any fucking h m on the she runway tyra yeah. banks Oh, uh -huh. big time, big time. <laughs> we were rooting for you. We were all rooting, all rooting for, for you. you. And, he, and by uh, the and way, he... it's pronounced H&M if you're in the UK. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny, for that, for that English lesson. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, RuPaul was like, don't, I don't want to see any fucking H&M and went on to say um, that she wants more, wants more. Is that um, asking too much? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is the biggest stage for drag in the world. This is the Eurovision of drag. So I think, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. RuPaul uh, laid into them and apologized afterwards and said, the, the other really interesting thing with UK is they stopped filming because of COVID and took a break for seven months and then brought the Queens back back. Seven to, months. Yeah, to come uh, back. Because it was come. really bad there. Yeah, and, and Victoria, are... yeah, Victoria Green did not come back because she tested positive for COVID. Yeah, so she yeah. was not invited back to the show. She's invited for the next season. Yeah. Um, so That's... she didn't come back for because of that. But bringing them back, even RuPaul said, apologize, saying that I've been in lockdown for two weeks, so I'm a little cranky. Okay. <laughs> Sorry yeah. for yeah. blowing up at everybody, but... But she and, also was like seven. You go seven months. You yeah. guys have had, and this is what you're bringing back. But right. this is a controversy. Go ahead, Eric. I was gonna say, and it was fascinating to see who changed in that seven I months. Know. Some people lost weight. Some people gained, <clears throat> gained weight, weight. Some, some people, people had work done. Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> work done. Yes. A big work done. So, I had, so is there a literal gap in the show? Yeah, like it just yeah. stopped. It stopped. And then yeah. everybody was on hold for a long time. Like yeah. you guys had watched the earlier episodes, and now it's and resuming. it was yeah. Now yeah. It, holy shit, I'm very excited about so, this. So yeah. you gotta um, watch it. Who yeah. was the one? And my sister, sister came back with a new nose, new cheek, <clears throat> new teeth, everything. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. it was so obvious. You're like, is that the same person? She had oh her own God. face done. <laughs> yeah. That's so but weird. How did she do that? Like, I don't know. In her fucking face? Yeah. So <laughs> RuPaul got a lot of backlash for this last week's episode with the H&M thing. And especially other queens who have been voted off, like Je um, Jenny Lemon, who I thought was so weird and quirky and interesting. And we'll talk about yeah. her elimination, whatever, with that. But... They were saying to RuPaul and commenting on social saying, we lost gig gigs during this seven months. We weren't bringing in any money. And you're expecting us to come in with big old expensive costumes. Exactly. And we didn't, we're not it's getting, true. we haven't been getting paid. All we, we could afford work. is H&M. And then Cherry yeah. Valentine chimed in and said, half of my wardrobe I wore on the show was H&M. So <laughs> it's like, thank God RuPaul didn't know that. But I mean, but I'm I mean, glad that they stuck up for a sister, yeah, right? Yeah, but I do. Yeah. Joe, Joe Black could have like 
He dazzled the shit out of it. Like RuPaul said, uh, if yeah. you're going to get H&M, he dazzled the shit out of it. Make it something new and interesting, yeah. which he could have done. Well, so that, there's that. That um, challenge where yeah. it was two teams, the one team as a whole, each and every one of them were clearly better yeah. than the other team. Oh, yeah. The pop, like, the like boop, boop song away. or whatever it was. Yeah, I, yeah. I love the joke, one night only Glenn Close uh, joins Little Mix. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Because Joe Black looks like Glenn Close. <laughs> oh, Not even funny. And he was, or she was actually the only one that I thought uh, from that group, which, which yeah. didn't do so well because of her runway, which was brilliant. Oh, with the yeah. ice cream cone eyes, the, and the, the chips. wind yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, sh- I wish that, I wish she would have made it through yes. out of that. But you know what so before they yeah. took a break because of lockdown the la- they had an elimination between sister sister and jenny lemon and they had to both do a sing like they had a lip sync for their life and jenny lemon eliminated herself during the lip sync literally turned Stopped around it. no turned around walked off stage and left Oh my god. And sister sister just performed all by herself. And, yeah. And, and didn't know for half of her performance that, that she, she wasn't just, there. Yeah. Because she thought Jenny she Lemon. just went up the ramp to do you know how some of them will yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. There? Yeah. She thought she just did that. So she's like, and then she's like, Oh, I'm all I'm, I'm all alone. But then then in the, when you know how they always interview them when they exit, and her explanation for it, I was like, Nope, I totally get it. I'm for it. You're you're not letting the show control your story you're doing that yourself you're saying i'm not gonna sing against my sister my time here is done i want to go out on my terms and that's what i'm gonna do and she said it's no disrespect to the show or the other queens but i have that right to take Mm -hmm. myself out if i don't want to be here anymore and that's what she did and she had a lot of trouble with and they show it in the show with being non-binary and all of that kind of stuff and a lot of um problems like with her body and accepting herself and you see the journey throughout the show and it's and i thought it was a great storyline and and so what did you think eric of her exiting her yeah i I feel feel very similar i thought i i mean i was screaming at my tv because i was so shocked it happened i had no idea it was coming me neither um and it, it was so good but um I also, I think, so in the episode after, they, you know, Rue comes back and he's wearing the yellow wig. Yeah. And he wears it through the entire, like, half of the episode. And it's to make fun of uh, uh, Lem- Ginny Lemon for not coming back. Yeah. I thought it was a little rude. I did, was too. Was that why? Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, we was... all thought maybe she had some work done, so she was, like, hiding no. the... And no. I thought it was, and I'm curious oh. about this because Jenny Lemon explained why she wears yellow because it's a color for binary. So in a way, I was like, RuPaul, why Ooh, would you do that? Yeah. Why well, would you? Yeah. Do that? <laughs> it would have been funny if, like, you came out and then you know, like, mm-hmm. wore it for like a minute and then snap, you know, yeah. w- ripped it off and then went on with the rest of the episode. But the whole episode, like, I know, with it, it was on, weird. It was uncomfortable. Was kind of rude. Yeah. Very yeah. rude. Now that I know that, I don't I like that. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I literally thought she'd had some stuff done because you know she's done the hats and she did the mat. Yes. You know, whenever she's doing this yeah. and I, I was thinking maybe that's why yeah Ew. i don't know yeah but it's both oh. both drag races are highly entertaining this season and i'm excited you, to see how both of them end up UK i might US. dare to say i like uk better than the u.s i i might say really too. What yeah the I inter- joy, i'm entertained <laughs> i'm entertained yeah. Yeah. i'm i'm just confused why and I hope I don't get any hate mail for this, but why is there just a Drag Race UK? Why didn't they open it to all of Europe? I don't know. I don't I know. Think they, I think you need they to. Is that going to happen? They want to keep it maybe open so they could open or it. Or is it because of country. Brexit? Maybe. They're Who just knows? Like, look, we can't deal with the, we can't deal with the yeah. travel restrictions. I think, I think so Bashi, gonna have our break. Bashi get on the phone, call RuPaul, and then ask her, please. I'll call Wow can. and see what's yeah, going let, on. Let us know what's going on. They can't be doing Drag Race <laughs> no. Germany and Drag Race Italy and Drag Race Spain, but that would be fucking cool. If, I know. Like, I mean, they the did EU Holland. Holland. I That's mean, we're on, they did Holland. Yeah. It's on, yeah, yeah. we're on our. We're on our way to RuPaul Drag Race Chula Vista. I mean, that's <laughs> starting to film next month. Is so. it? Minchilada is on it for sure. <laughs> 
Can you imagine? Uh, a taco eating contest? Shit, I'd be down for that. She's like, Does that involve a <laughs> song? <laughs> Up the store. Oh, now I'm hungry. Uh, Jesus Christ. No, but that's too, enough dude. drag race talk for me. I think we're dragged out. That was a long, so, one. That was a long was drag race discussion. But I do want to talk to Eric about a TV show we've been talking off the show, WandaVision. We've never talked uh, about it on the show. And it I is, don't know if I'm caught up. It's so getting so Wh- fucking which- good. It really is. This last episode, are you caught up, Eric? I did not see last night. Oh, wait till um, you see it. I, I it love either. That they have Speed and Wick, who is our Wiccan, I think, is Wanda's kids. And in the comic book, there they have the one has the powers of Scarlet Witch and the other one has the powers of Quicksilver. And they do a uh. flashback or they bring the original <clears throat> costumes from the actual comic book in the new episode. It's re- and they recast Quicksilver with the guy from the X Men movies. It's really it's, well, yeah, it's turning interesting. That is the big thing about the show is because it's supposed to marry the Disney Marvel Cinematic Universe with like the, who was it, Sony? or Sony. It was Sony. I'm pretty sure. So the X-Men, so now we're going to have mutants within the Disney Plus. Yep. That's what WandaVision's setting up. And it's, I'm I'm wondering if they're going to do House of M because that's what it's kind of gearing towards with the comic books. That's what I've heard too. Yeah, which I would, I will be so excited because I remember reading the, that series and it was, it was good. So Eric, I think you need to catch up on all 45 (laughs) X-Men and Avengers. I did. And it took me. Guardians of the Galaxy movies because. It'll lend a lot of context. To oh, this. for sure. You can watch them on Disney in order of how you should be watching them. And it's like, yeah, uh, it's it, it. I forgot a lot of stuff. And when you watch them in order as <clears> they're <throat> supposed to be viewed, it's like watching one giant Marvel movie. But it makes sense. And it just sets you up for one division even more. It's so it's good. actually a beautifully intricate. Yeah, Bashi. And it really quite, is. Like, I don't think there's ever been a movie series like this ever. It's not just like, you know, Jurassic Park 1, 2, 3. It's like this entire interwoven thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And they do a good job. I have a question. Yes. Because I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a superhero person. I'm not. Which is Uh, fine. Neither am I. uh, Oh. But you're no, watching not at all. WandaVision. Yeah, yeah, this is the this that is the shocker for our group because I, I don't watch these things, but I really enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. To, that was what I was gonna ask because my son um, actually my daughters and my son, they all watch they've watched all the things. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll I'll watch something if they tell if they tell me they want to, and especially if they want to watch it with me, because I just want to hang out with them. But <laughs> <laughs> but I mostly i don't i'm not up to date on on any of it so i was like "Eh, i guess i'm not gonna watch that because it's probably not for me um but then uh some well one i think it was one of my daughters said no 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 no, mom you're fine you should watch it you'll like it like it yeah yeah Yeah. the superhero thing is almost backseat to the storytelling exactly yeah it really is it really really is what what, (laughs) producer rob you got something yeah i well I haven't seen it. I've only like crossed through the living room or popped in while Tony's <laughs> watching this. And every time I come in, it's a different decade and a different, like sometimes it's a in TV, the, yeah. Yeah. Black, sometimes it's black and white. Sometimes it's a 1990s sitcom. So, so I'm like, for me and those at home listening yes. who have no clue what the hell is going on and who is oh, this and like what. We can do a whole episode well, on that. I mean, but in, the but Cliff's in, Notes. Yeah, but in a short version. So this takes place after. Everybody yeah. disappears from the Marvel Universe and Endgame. End end game. So yeah. Scarlet Witch comes back, creates her own kind of universe, and it's in this bubble, and she brings back Vision, she brings back her brother, and she has created an alternate reality for herself to deal with the grief. And in this reality, she actually has kids. Um, and they're they're all stuck in this bubble, and everybody in the bubble is being controlled by Scarlet Witch. And so that's where it's at right now is this bubble's expanding and the people inside are figuring out that they're in an alternate reality. So that's, and her safety is 
television show. So she, every episode is a different style of television shows yeah. is how she's presented oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's a cool that. format of that. Yeah. And just to give some additional background, Scarlet Witch is one of the Olsen sisters. Yeah, yeah. she's so good at it. She really is. <laughs> she's great. Wow. She's such a good actress. She is. She's, one she's of the, great. Yeah, she's, she's great. She's, yeah. Fucking good. And it's it's a sl- I think it's interesting because it's a slow build up for the story. Yeah. You mm-hmm. you watched the first episode and you're like, what does this have to do with anything? Mm-hmm. And and I read an article and it was like, have we forgotten how to watch TV where we have to have all the answers right away? We have to be yeah. so entertained. Yeah. Like, are you losing what- interest? Yeah, like, why is it so bad that it takes, you know, three, three four episodes, episodes yeah. to so, start to figure things out? Yeah, so happened? imagine that kind of buildup of WandaVision, but spread across 20 feature films. Yeah, that's mm. how the Marvel Universe is. Um, <laughs> then, <laughs> and, and also, it gives you a, a fucking good ending. It's not yeah. like a J.J. Abrams thing where they just, like, end up in some fucking <laughs> alternate so universe right. and nothing makes sense on yeah. an island. Yeah, It's <laughs> it's actually, like, wrapped up Lost. in a bow <laughs> and neat right. and it. It's good. It is. It is. But it's yeah. highly entertaining. I think everybody should check it out. One Division's been very entertaining. I love it a lot. Yeah. Um, one other thing we I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, so you know how I'm always on TikTok. I know Bashy's on TikTok. We I watch oh, yes. it all the time. So there is this trend that Z- Gen Zs have made it a rule that if you part your hair to the side, you are considered old and not cute anymore. You know what, what I think is, is old. You know what I think is old thinking. <laughs> and you know this what? This is for you know millennials. Is, this is for millennials. You know Apparently, millennials are old if they part it to the side. Before you go to the thing that you need to be doing, according to Gen Z, is part, middle part, right down the middle, like we did in the nineties. Go ahead, Bashy. How do you, you know feel about I, this? You know what I think is like some fucking old ass way of thinking, assigning <laughs> rules to people. Thank you. Oh, Thank who the you. fuck are you, boomers, Gen Z? <laughs> Oh, I'm not cool if I don't have a... Wow, okay, so everybody's going to look the same? Why don't you just go back to 1956 then? Yeah, Am I that's cool it. now? But, but then, the, the other thing that's funny is Gen Z, like all the stuff on TikTok in this article I was reading and different stuff on Twitter is like, wait a minute, mill- millennials and, and Gen Xs and people, well, they're like, wait a minute, the middle part was a total 90s thing. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, we've already been through and that. We've been through yeah. it. So. I will say, and yeah. the seventies was. So the why why are we gonna go back to that? Think of something new, something inventive. I, I think you I should wear your hair. hair wherever we fucking. I know, party yeah. wherever the fuck you want. <laughs> that Who means I was shit? cool because I had mine parted down the middle with feathers in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, you did. I was ahead of my time. You were apparently. Apparently, yeah. No, you were late. Is that was. <laughs> you were late. You were late, producer Rob. Sorry. Dude, what a gross little thing that they're. Like, I know. Who's, who's I always cool? read that stuff, and I'm like, I could give two shits. Everybody I'm do. Gen Z's turning into boomers. Don't say that. They're our future. Children are the future. Because Jenny, you're Gen X, right? <laughs> Yes, I'm not yes. millennial yeah. and I'm not boomer. You guys are my Gen favorites. X. I fucking love Gen X. They're Gen so X easy gets to get along looked with. over. We were the middle child. We did. We influenced yeah. a lot, and people forget. That's what happened. People you did. forget. Ooh, mm-hmm. Thank you. We did. That's we influenced so a lot because we were right after the boomers. We were the rebel generation. Really changed the course of how things are, and people forget because millennials came up, came after, well, and we and don't had, complain. No, we don't complain yes. about it. That's the thing. I, We're would just like, like, hey. I would like to formally thank Gen X because I'm an you. older millennial and you influence me a lot. Can we but yeah, but... Gen X with a J? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we? <laughs> but I just think like, do what you what's gonna make you. If you want a side part, go. Yeah, for do what it. makes you, you want... confident. Doesn't know. give you a fucking psychosis. Like... Don't let social media <laughs> dictate how to dress. How. How to I live just your want life, people I to think. wash their hair. And I that's a thing that some generations have decided they don't need to do very often. And Who? I'm like, listen, we're Who smelling wash it. Hair? Uh, Gen Ew. X, Gen X it's in a... the 90s. Yeah, that's we didn't. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> people know what conditioner is for? <laughs> listen, I get it. We're trying to protect our hair, but there's, and, and, and you can still make it look good if you don't, but it's something that's stinky. So. It's stinky. Ew. Sweaty, sweaty hat hair. That's the worst. That's yeah, the but worst. you, <laughs> so you could just at least refresh it with some conditioner yeah. and make it smell nicer. Like you don't have to fully wash it, right? Yeah. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Yeah. Just make it. Smell. I don't know. I'm like whatever with that. But 
we were talking before the show, and I, this is an interesting question. So during this whole last year with lockdown and the vaccine coming out, I've noticed people are getting new fears. There's fear of leaving your houses because of COVID, fear of getting a shot. Have you guys seen any new, like, trending, I guess you could say, what people are scared of now because of the pandemic? Because it's changed the way we look at a lot of things. Oh, so many yeah. things. I I think I'm more... Um, a uh, hypochondriac than I've ever been. I think so, and not too. just about COVID. I haven't gotten sick all year. Nope. Because we're right. not around people. We're not around people picking up germs and shit. I know. I hope everybody continues to sanitize the fuck out of their hands, continues to wash their hands for 20 seconds, continues to wear a mask if they're sick. Yeah. I, I think so. I think that I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm probably going to be that person at Disneyland that wears a mask even when we don't need to, because why not? I don't need I to get your dirt, you know what I mean? And I, uh, I don't think I'll go so far as to wear a mask all the time, but if I if I feel off, I definitely will. Yeah. Just like, so to be fine spaces like an airplane. Like why why not sit there with one on? If... I know that doesn't make. I sense think I might. Not too. Yeah, I don't. I always get sick on airplanes. And exactly. I don't do that. That's what I'm, I'm. I'm thinking that like you were saying, we, none of us have gotten sick because we haven't, as we've been masking and we've been doing the things and we're not around people. Mm-hmm. Um. So I'm like, mm, maybe maybe in those circumstances, like big crowds or airplanes or yeah. things like that, where uh, I might just do where? that. I yes. I also kind of like I can't Dick. believe I'm saying I no, like I aspects about the pandemic, but yeah. I like not having to talk to interact people with people. <laughs> I knew it. I, I knew like it. being able to just blow past them on the street or walk to the other side of the street oh, without looking bash. like a dick. And I like avoiding them. I don't want to know. I don't want to talk to anybody that I don't want to talk to. I like I to wear my headphones. Bash. I like to have sunglasses on. I like to have a mask on. I want nobody to know who the fuck I am. And continue to go about my day unbothered. Unless they're giving you free drinks, then you then you pull your little dashi card well, <laughs> at a bar. Yeah, which, I mean, the, the which brings up another now. topic. Now that things are open here, a little more open here in uh, um, San Diego, the the aspect of going to a bar, even now that you can or go to a restaurant, you still can't socialize and meet new people. No, Great. because you can't walk up to them. So what is the point, <laughs> right? What is the point? Yeah. I. I went to Moe's this week. and I did last week. It was very, they're, they do such a good job following protocol and, and all of that. Yes. It's yeah, very but safe I, there. I realized I didn't want to fucking socialize with people anyway at Moe's. <laughs> I go to Moe's because they serve, they serve some, some food that is good and I can have a strong fucking drink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Well, we, even yeah. before the pandemic, when we went out, we just talked to each other. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe that's why people don't like us. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I, I noticed bet. that it does change the whole bar culture from here on out. It's a whole nother story. I think it'll get back to the way it was, but I just hope I think people are cleaner. I think it'll be a hint of what it was. I don't think it's ever going to go back to fully what it was. Oh, I think it totally will. You so. do? Yeah, I think it will. I don't At know. Some point. Maybe. Not not real know. quick, but I think no. it will. I don't think it'll be quick, but I think it'll. I think it will. <laughs> I I. I think we're going to be making out with strangers by September. (laughs) You do? Yeah. I thought you didn't want to socialize with anybody. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm talking about the general population. I mean. Socializing and making out. Yeah, not the same. I mean. (laughs) Bash is just like, I don't want to talk to you. Just stick your tongue in my mouth. (laughs) (laughs) And we're fine. Those were my 20s, you bitch. (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah. (laughs) What year was that? 1990? No, I'm kidding. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, man. But I had another question we were kind of talking about. Has there been an incident, especially now with lockdown and stuff, where you got so mad at a friend and you remember the specific conversation and time when you made that decision? I don't think I want to um, be friends with you anymore. Have you had that lately? I have. Ever? You have, um, So it, it's So um, it's somebody that I saw on social media who was just kind of, uh no 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 uh not feel not following the guidelines of like social distancing and like traveling and just literally blatantly like disregarding all of it yeah and i was like i have to mute you and turn you off because it makes me so angry to see it like i can't handle it anymore and so naturally like there's just this progression i don't know about this person's life anymore i don't know Mm -hmm. what's going on yeah. Don't talk to them. 
What it's about weird. you, Bashy? Have you ever been in that situation? Yeah. Every day. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Um, Toward, this towards might, us, right? I know. This every might podcast. Shock to everyone. But At yes, the end of I've every podcast, he's before. like, hmm, do I still want to be friends with these people? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I make the decision and go, no, you don't. No, no. no I, um, I don't. I wouldn't consider this person a friend, but my next door neighbor, I've completely oh, bitched them out. I'm so fucking oh. done with oh, them. Oh, is fucking it? Lunatic. Is it the, the She's crazy? an 86 year old yeah. woman and she parked in my parking she's spot. She's what, 86? Yeah. She's, she's a, a nightmare. She's Honestly, a she's a nightmare. nightmare. She is. She threatens to sue us like every week. Oh. She's um, bored, Bash. She got nothing else care. going on and she okay, knows so she's almost at the end. Yeah. You know what? She's probably miserable with her life and she knows well, she's duh. got maybe a good two months or three months. So she's going to take everybody down with her. That's what's what? happening. <laughs> no, that's exactly what's happening. It is. <laughs> But I, I just was like, you know what? I want you to you tell are... her next time you see her and she's going off, just go, God bless. Oh, I'm, I'm already, I'm, I'm the next thing, I'm calling her a bitch to her face. No, you know what you need to do? Let her go off and then just walk up to her and give her a big old hug, like a really long <laughs> hug. Too That's long, like, gets really long. uncomfortable. She probably smells like depends. And then, and that. then just hold her back like this and look her dead in the eyes for a good two minutes. No. Just solid no. look and make that, no. do that. I think no. it'll be a good exercise for you, Bashy. I really no, do. No, she doesn't. She <laughs> responds better to like sarcasm and like yeah. logical dicks. And I was just like, I'm like, do you think so you're, you're spirit the queen animal. of this comp? I've, I've said this to her face yeah. and I'm like, you, everyone hates you. Bash, I have something to tell you. Everyone hates you. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's like, my my work here is done. But, 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 but me, hate, people hating me yeah. makes them not talk to me, which I'm fine with. I don't yeah. want to talk to anyone. She is just a she's a badger and she badges people. Like it's a honey just, badger? It. <laughs> no, not a honey badger. Honey badger don't, don't stop. stop. It'd be honey like badger a don't badger care. covered in, in shit. In shit. Her own shit. <laughs> Oh, on that note, anyway. is our show. Jenny, thank you for joining us this thank week. Thank you for having and, me. And give us I the don't rundown. Think I laughed this hard. In a really long <laughs> good. Time. Is that good or bad? No, I'm kidding. Really Jenny, bad. give us the rundown of OB one more time. How do people get in contact and all that good stuff? So keep an eye out for last five years coming out. Um, go to obplayhouse.com or visit um, OB Playhouse on Facebook for all the information. Um, and if you feel so inclined, we'd love donations. We're really yep. trying to just keep the theater open until we can be back to usual times. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. For, and thank you for having me on and let me share that. Yay. Yay. Um, can we see Miriam again one more time? <laughs> yeah. Can... Show us Miriam's wonky eyes. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> there Which, she is. If anybody look wants that t-shirt, bounces. I think you can buy it. There she Look at Miriam Bounce. I know. Um, you can... <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can get the t-shirt on Miriam's website right. at sheherme.com, right? Yeah. Okay. Just and Bashy, how do people find you? I'm at same name underscore Bash on Instagram. And Eric, how do people find Party you? Party Bear Eric on Instagram. There you go. And you can follow me. It's Tony underscore Baloney underscore <laughs> Macaroni on Instagram. You can follow the podcast at Who Invited Her underscore podcast on Instagram, where Who Invited Her SD on Twitter and Facebook. You can watch us every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. on Out at TV. You can watch my other show, Film Springa, on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Um, I am working on numerous merchandise for us it's going to be up soon um on the website we have a couple pieces besides the who invited her logo we have some other fun t-shirt designs that are going to be showing up in the next couple weeks so that link will be on our website coming up soon um there's a lot of really good merch that we have i ordered a bunch of the samples so i'm waiting for them to come in to see how they are and if we need to make adjustments it's not just some other designs other than logo there went tony is an artist tony drew them and painted them himself so yeah actually some of my original artwork will be up there to buy and you can get on shirts and prints and all that kind of stuff very talented what did you say what did you say draw me Oh God, no! Like, there's not a like canvas one of your big enough. French girls. There's not a canvas big enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ, for that ego. Can I no. have a naked one of just me with the heart of the ocean on a couch? You yes, could, please. yeah, the heart of the ocean. No. I would buy that. I want a shirt. On a Thanks. shirt, just just bashy butt ass naked with a giant <laughs> diamond. Yeah, you can go that on. Sounds like can... a nice Friday. Or your grinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no. Oh, keep the zirconias on there. Unfortunately, you save the diamond for the real people, the ones that count. It's like that other app where you only date millionaires. Oh god, know, that's, <laughs> that's another one. Anyways, yeah. that is our show. We will see everybody next week. Bye.